terrific night of hockey here. Eddie Olchek is alongside. You'll hear from Ray Ferraro in a moment. I'm Mike Emery. It is Central Division action tonight. This matchup between Chicago and the Minnesota Wild. Down the many steps we go to the ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. The playoffs are the best time of the year, guys. And so we remember back to qualifying for a playoff series for the first time. You get yourself into the playoffs, you're so nervous you can't get started quick enough. This is the very best time of the year. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich, this playoff game has begun. Blocked away. Good intercept. Puck loose, couldn't get through. Looking to saw. Gets in. What'll he do? Gives it to the point. With a drive. Didn't get through. Minnesota's carrying on at center ice. Takes a shot. Oh, and it's off the mark. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Session once again by Jonathan Thames. A whistle and a rest. Play has stopped, and so we have a chance to hear from Ray Ferraro. A great early pace. You can certainly tell that the games have picked up a notch in intensity since the end of the regular season to this first night of the playoffs. Okay, Ray, thank you. Minnesota's in control of the puck through center. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Directing that one to Kane. And they are in. A shot. Terrific glove save, but it's loose. Puck covered. Whistle blown. One of the true superstars in the entire National Hockey League, Patrick Kane. His game has really evolved in a lot of different areas. First off, he's become a much more complete player. But on the offensive side of the puck, he's always been one of the top five passers in the entire National Hockey League. Where he's taken his game to another level, he's not predictable. He's unpredictable now because he's thinking about shooting more. Great opportunity denied. Puck covered, whistle blown. Dubnik's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Over five minutes played in the first. Both teams have tried hard, but only the goalies have been successful. Nothing, nothing. Oh, what a chance, what a save. Face-off win here. Paddle the side. Trying to go to Zucker. Minnesota's got it and moving it through the neutral zone. Good place to shoot from. Blocked. Chicago's lugging it up the wing. Slid to Kane. Hangs on to that one and he'll see a face-off right here. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. Grab the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. Nicely into the zone. Oh, how can they miss that pass? And he dumps it in. Try to clear the puck. Nice job holding the puck. Oh, and he's hammered. Coyle's apparently got the memo here. This is going to be a physical game. Both teams. Great save in close. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Mashed in. Pitching it to Brodine. Passing one off now to Stewart. He is shut right off. Oh, big hit, Doc. I could hear it right from where I'm standing. He looked like he wanted to go right through him. Possession taken up by Duncan Keith. Good job with the stick. Carrying it in center ice. Thrown in. 
Snapping a pass to Miko Koivu. Puck is thrown to Stewart. Nice tip of the pass. Possession gained by Ryan Suter. Pass attempt to Stewart. Dumped in. Good quick poke check there. And in their own end, looking for options. Gains the zone. He imposed his will. Minnesota's controlling play through center. This scrum will end soon. Kicked out of the scrum. Takes that pass from the other point man. Missed. And snapped to Suter. Shot deflected. Chicago's leaving the defensive zone. Around through the corner. Takes that pass off the boards. A good stick there, so no complete pass. It's an onside play. From the outside. That's a great save. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. Chicago's prevailed on another faceoff. Collected by Ryan Suter. Pass cut. Might go the other way now. Didn't drag it very well there. Loose puck. Minnesota's setting it up as they move through center. Good shooting place. He scores! Stall! When you're thinking about taking a wrist shot, it's all about weight transfer. Transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck. That's exactly what happened there. Just beat Eddie. I mean, I've got a good look at it. The goaltender's in good shape here, but he doesn't get his glove up. Minnesota's gotten the one nothing lead. Finally, we get the first goal. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. He takes that point pass. Oh, poke check. Saved one there. He covers and holds on. Good clean win on the draw. Let's a shot go. Freezes play. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. It's dumped in. Moving it to Prosser. Now it's directed to Felino. The clock has bled down to the last minute. A shot. What a terrific save. Pitching this one to Boma. A shot. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. On to Felino. Wrist shot. Seabrook's got it on his stick, trying to clear. And that's one period. Still two more to go. Only one goal scored. Lots of time left to play. Hey fans, don't forget to get the seats you want, the games you want, by purchasing one of our six game tickets. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? 
Chicago's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. Feeds the point. Minnesota's looking to head man up the wing. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Able to attack now. What a hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. And the puck is scooped up by Keith. Propelled to Saad. He's got that point pass. On the outside, a shot. Around through the corner right now. Right at the net, and he got his pad on it. Pressure now. Laid on to Koivu. Nicely into the zone. Up to the point. Good hand to eye. And the reach of the stick. Let's it go. He lost it. Tumbled down to one knee. Wonderful block. Minnesota's carrying on up the wing. Scooped up by Zach Parisi. Didn't miss by much. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Minnesota's continuing on through center ice. Hammered! Solid work there by Miko Koivu. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Toward the goal now. Wouldn't let him buy. Looking to Kane. Gains the zone. And they've got it again. And he dumps it in. Directing that one to Kane. Pitch straight up to Anisimov. Shoots it off. Got his stick on it. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Dubnik's athleticism and that was really put to test on that last quality opportunity. I still have no idea how he stopped that, Doc. Just over nine minutes played. It's a 1-0 game. Quick work on the faceoff. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. And a save. Mashed in. Picks it up in his own end. Takes that pass at center ice. Let's it go. Oh, stick save. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Face off, you have to be strong to hold that other guy off. He gains the zone, lets it go. Terrific shot, but a denial. Minnesota's in their own end and has possession. And the pickup. Good stick there, so the pass is not complete. Muscled long to Prosser. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. And he shoots. Thrown in. Chip to Ennis. Slid to Cullen. That shot hit a man. That one's off the frame. Trying to go to Boma. The Blackhawks with possession up the wing. It's dumped back in. That'll help the defense to get to the bench. 
Two guys together with force. Big force. Suter's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. Sharp skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. The Hawks got that face-off win. Now what? Gains the blue line. Shoots. Wonderful save. Shoots. Oh, what a terrific save in close. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Shoots. Score! Koivu's wrist shot was heavy and quick. Forsberg's almost mesmerized by this gorgeous move in front of him. He doesn't seem to notice the back door. What a gorgeous pass. Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead, and we're nearing the end of the second period. Some positives for them to carry on, as if time of possession isn't enough. The Hawks wheel it up the wing. That point pass as well. That one's deflected. To Suter. Pitching it to Gronlin. On to Anisimov. Hangs on to it. Good body contact. Looks for room. Great glove save and he keeps it. Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. Nearing the last minute of this middle period. Last minute of play. Propel to Taves. Decides to go back into his own end to get something started. Back in front. Wonderful stop. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. Let's check out the shot board here at the end of two periods. 17 for Chicago and 7 for the Wild. Boy, whose goal was late in that period, and so his team goes to the locker room smiling with a two-goal lead as we head to break. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? The Blackhawks are down as we get ready to start the third period. From my vantage point, Doc, they're lucky to still be in this game. They've turned the puck over way too many times. Oh, deflected away. Those big pillows on his legs came in handy then. Passing one off now to Henestroza. Snapping a pass to Gronlin. Maintaining possession up the wing. The battle continues. He can't get free. Chicago's carrying it through center. Using the point. Through the corner now. Nicely padded away. Laid on to Keith. Fires. That's a marvelous save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Puck is thrown to Gronwell. He's in on an onside play. Oh, what a save. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Sometimes you got to be in good position just to make the stop, but you also got to be lucky. This puck changes direction and ends up hitting the goaltender more than he stops it. with a clean win on the draw. Chicago's finding its way to center ice. The Hawks continue to probe up the wing. Flings it out 
Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. Dubnik's save is a good one, but defensively, they cannot give up another odd man rush. Chicago's got it again. He scores! Patrick Kane! Goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go, and beat the goaltender clean. And so we see this all the time. The goaltender thinks he's in perfect position, so he drops down to spread out, and the puck beats him up over the glove. Chicago's deficit is only one because of that last goal. Let's see if they can tie it up here in the third. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Shot on. Save. That one counts. He put it in himself. have gotten this game back even. Third period heroics for them. Let's see what happens next. Chip to Eric Stahl. And that play is offside. Hey, I like this mascot, guys. He's kind of goofy. The fans are getting a charge out of him. He's running all over the building, keeping them engaged in the game, too. And he's not like some of those mascots that look horrifying that you're scared of. This is good stuff. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Nice job, straight stand up poke check. Takes that pass from the other point. Cranks one, didn't get through. Dogged determination there by Eric Stahl. Minnesota's continuing to probe up the wing. Gathered up again by Seabro. And the puck taken hold of by Coyle. No way he's getting by there. Blocked away. Shoots. That shot came from right in front. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Over eight minutes played here in the third. The winds have shifted yet again. This is going to be an interesting third period. He's got it. Pass attempt to Zebra. Moving it to Declare. Dumped in. Dubnik's able to keep this play moving. And now it's directed to Ennis. Trying to get something generated up the wing. It's dumped in. Slid to Seabrook. Chicago's controlling play now up the wing. He can start some danger here. Shot. Oh! His first playoff goal, but a great memory for him. have broken the tie here in the third period. A wonderful ride to the finish for all of us now. I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. Can you say big? Saw's facial expression tells you he can't believe that this puck hit the post and stayed away. That was a chance to put a nail in the car. They score! And they've tied the game up. at all. He fired home that wrist shot. 
The goalie's in perfect position here, just not perfect enough. This is a really accurate shot. Minnesota's tied the game here in the third period. Every shift will mean a lot now. And that's a face-off win. Taken to the corner by Niederreiter. To the point it comes. On to Miko Koivu. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Carried right through the 50-yard line. Pitching this one, but Gronwin. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Nice tip of the pass. Great save, point blank. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Well, with all my years involved in a game, I would anticipate there's going to be a little bit of payback after that big open ice hit. Just over six minutes still to be skated. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. Eric Stahl's lost another one. Looking to saw. Gets in. What'll he do? A shot. Outstanding save off a chance. Snapped off a wrist shot. Stud him right up. Directing that one to Parisi. Propelled to Zucker. Wow, what a glove save. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. A big win. Let's see what happens. Laid on to Parisi. Airborne to Brodine. One-timer. Chicago setting things up through the neutral zone. That one is pointed to him. Grabbed! Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Trying to go to Ennis. And he dumps it in. Pitching it to Zebra. The Blackhawks controlling play now in their own end. Chip to Anisimov. Slides it to the point. Goalie reaches the bench. Extra man out. Shoots. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Hit the puck with a shot. It is a penalty call, and this could be huge in this game. Will it be decided on the power play? Minnesota's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Blackhawks get a critical power play opportunity, and it's their very first one in the game. It begins with this face-off. Two sticks together, they cancel. And this one is feathered back away by Ryan Suter. Chicago's carrying it in their own end. Gets in, looks over his options here. Last minute of play in a wonderful game. That's what those pads are for. Wonderful work and goal. That second save was textbook. Let's it go. Had the goalie beat and glanced it off the post. Shoots one. Paddled aside. And he fires. Pad blocked. Nice save. Tough to follow. Tries to clear. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Chicago's finding its way to center ice. The Hawks with possession through the neutral zone. Good intercept by Koivu. Big chance! Score! He had that look of no doubt he was going to score on that breakaway. The goalie thinks he's got the bottom half of the net covered. Obviously, he doesn't as this goes by him on the low stick side. Minnesota's gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. Chicago's collected another victory on the faceoff. That poke check may have saved the game. Fired away and back down. Minnesota's decision-making as of late has been perfect. That's another good play. There he goes, net empty. Let's take a chance here, they're saying. 
And the game is over. The game has ended. It is a deceptively close one. You get that many shots on goal, you think you would come out on top, but that's not the case here tonight. It was another great night of playoff hockey. We hope you liked it and we'll watch next time. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night.